Back now at 8.10 with an exclusive interview with singer Susan Boyle. She became, of course, an overnight sensation after auditioning on Britain's Got Talent in 2009. Well, today, national correspondent Amy Robach traveled across the pond to catch up with her and find out how she's doing now. Hey, Amy, good morning. Hi, and good morning to you. And despite all of Susan Boyle's international fame and success, she still lives a relatively normal life in her native Scotland. And that's where I recently caught up with her at home for what turned out to be a candid conversation about life, love, of music and Donny Osmond. Hi there, how are you? Hi, Susan. This is for you, and oh. I'm Amy. Hi, Amy. So nice to meet to you. Meet you. And so nice to be able to be here in your Thank brand you. new beautiful home. Stepping into Susan Boyle's home, which she jokingly refers to as the posh house, it's easy to see the great contrast her life has become. Here in a quaint and picturesque part of Scotland's countryside, Susan's life seems pretty ordinary. Hi, Adama, how are you doing? <laughs> Thanks. Except for the fact that everywhere she goes, almost everyone knows who she is. Susan. Hello there. So where are you from then? Her international fame coming overnight following an audition two years ago on Britain's Got Talent that wowed the judges and audience alike. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Have you ever gone back and watched that original audition? I've seen it once or twice and said to myself, what the heck are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I walked on, I was dressed like a cake, black tights, white shoes. I thought, what the heck were you thinking about? <sighs> I mean, it was like a doily on legs. <laughs> And then you see yourself now in the mirror. Well, that's thanks to uh, a lot of training I've had. And it was obvious in that audition, I, I like confidence. Look at me, that's a complete contrast. It's a complete contrast, and that's a good one. So how would you describe how your life has changed from 2009 to today? It's changed because I'm more confident within myself. It's changed because I've, I've met a lot of nice people. Any of them male? You mean Donny Osmond? <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> Are you open to meeting someone? I think I would probably say I would be guarded in that area. So you're not online dating right now? No. <laughs> hey, come on, with teeth like mine, you're kidding. <laughs> Do you see yourself possibly dating and getting married? When I meet the right person, I will know, and so will he. That's all I'm prepared to say. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, neighbor. <laughs> Just down the street from Susan Boyle's new home is the house she grew up in. She still owns it, and in fact, stays here most of the time. You sleep here. Mm-hmm. Even though you got that big house down the street. Well, the big house down the street isn't really me because I'm not really the type of person to live in a big mansion. When I'm back in this space, well, my mom and dad, I still feel close to them. I still have a lot of nice memories in this house. I feel this is my comfort zone. And that's why you keep your Donny Osmond blanket here. <laughs> There's no answer to that. <laughs> ah, yes, the Donny Osmond blanket. Ooh, baby, baby, that's what we call a hero. <laughs> <laughs> given to Susan by one of her fans. I just love the texture, too. It is so cozy, right? Mm -hmm. It's the next best thing you cuddle. <laughs> A Donnie cuddle. I like it. Donnie upstairs with me. Even before she was famous, music played a big role in Susan Boyle's life. The difference is, now she has a much bigger audience. She has sold over 15 million albums worldwide since her debut release in 2009. And her new album, Someone to Watch Over Me, will be released on November 1st. The title song, Someone to Watch Over Me, uh, is beautiful. But it begs the question, do you have a personal connection to that song? Do you have someone to watch over you? I've always had my mother to watch over me. And I think that's really quite a, a nice thought that she's still there with me. I think she probably wanted this to happen. Well, she wanted you to get onto Britain's Got Talent, correct? Not just Britain's Got Talent, she wanted to be a professional singer. And you've done that just, just slightly. <laughs> I bet you could never have predicted this. Five years ago, if you had seen yourself now, 
Well, five years ago, I was in a good place, but I'm in a better place now. If you could name your top three goals for the next phase of this, what would they be? To keep going, to uh, keep getting better at what I'm doing, to make people happy. That's three goals that are achievable. And we want to thank Susan Boyle for opening the doors to both of her homes for us. And we also want to mention that Susan will be live on today, November 2nd, to sing a song from her album, Someone to Watch Over Me. And she's never slept even one night in her new home. She says she's never slept there because she always feels more at home at her old, or her old home where she grew up with her family. And so, yes, she's never spent the night at her new home. You know, there are people who get great uh, wishes come true, and you're glad of it, and she's definitely... One of those people. She's grounded too, and that's what's great about it. All right. Amy Robach, thank you so much. And coming up 